research that will change your world from the University of Calgary, U of C. This is now. We have discovered the genes in opium poppy that are responsible for the biosynthesis of codeine and morphine. We now know genetically and biochemically how the plant is capable, unique, uniquely in nature, um, is capable of making those important uh, painkillers. So the availability of a gene provides many opportunities uh, for, for the application of, of, of that technology. Well, we had a gene chip that we made, and this gene chip had 23,000 genes on it. And we found the one gene of the 23,000 that um, encoded this enzyme. So that was one of two that we discovered. We used that one to find the next one. And this one was the uh, gene responsible for the conversion of codeine to morphine. We can knock out the gene responsible for the conversion of codeine to morphine and have a poppy variety that produces only codeine and, and, and not any morphine. The, the present uh, production opportunities for these, uh, these opiate pharmaceuticals is cultivation of, of plants and certainly that's, that's uh, going to continue to be a major source for the production of these compounds. We're getting very close to an opportunity to reconstitute the pathway from the plant in other organisms. And in particular, uh, we, we're targeting uh, yeast or, or, or bacteria that would provide an alternative and potentially more economically and certainly much more stable uh, or, or secure way of, of producing these compounds in uh, pharmaceutical facilities rather than having to cultivate any plants in the field. Finding not only the enzymes but also the gene, we've made a, a, a major uh, step forward. It's equivalent, I, I would say, to finding uh, a gene involved in cancer or, um, in, or in, in some other uh, major uh, human disorder.